Hey, beautiful souls. Hey, guys. Welcome back. I'm Divinely Dustin. Welcome back to another video. Happy Saturday. Happy Sunday. If you are new to this particular channel, I want to say thank you for stopping by. I really, really appreciate the love and support that you guys have shown me. If you happen to be interested in a private reading, all that information should be in the description box below. I'm officially caught up with all my readings. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yes, if you ever if you ever book a reading with me, it's much obliged to respond to the reading. Okay. You don't have to, but you know, it's out of courtesy and respect for the reader. I really appreciate the support nonetheless. And if you are interested in booking me and booking me, all that information will be in the description box below. Happy birthday, Virgos. We're still in Virgo season. And you know, we're still in Mercury retrograde. I believe we're like we're like a few days away from fall here as well. So yes, let me know in the comments how this Mercury retrograde has been. How has it been for you? The energy vampires are still on the loose. The spiritual attacks are still happening. Their spiritual warfare is still going on and is very much still prevalent right now in the collective. Yes, if you are a tarot reader, please make sure you keep your energies as clear as possible. Call in your spiritual team and support as you do your messages and just overall in your life. Because there are a lot of people that are coming up against the tarot readers. You know, a lot of people are jealous and envious of readers. And not just readers. You know, you may be someone that has many gifts and talents and you have people that are envious and jealous or secretly just hating on you okay that's going on right now collective so take it easy on yourself purchase you some sage some palo Santo, if you can that helps to keep the energies clear for sure in your home yeah relocation is a big theme it has been a huge theme this year in the collective i know people that are praying for relocation and if you have been praying for relocation, just hang in there. I feel like that's going to be coming in very, very soon here. Now, I have a message. Now, it will be a general message, honey. So just take it how it resonates. Don't try to make a reading fit. Just take what you need from the particular message and leave the rest. Yeah, there's something about the bird chart. The bird chart is coming up here in this particular message. Yes. Mm, you may need to dig into your bird chart. Learn about the different planets and different houses in your birth chart that's very very significant here it looks like someone could have been secretly been trying to do some work on you work on you using your birth chart please be very discreet and careful with the information you release about your chart okay mm -hmm. yeah it's like also there's the energies of people possibly working on your crown chakra trying to cause confusion to keep you in a constant state of confusion to possibly throw off your 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 intuition and your gifts okay remember there are energy vampires and also spiritualists working overtime right now to try to you know bring down a collective or to cause confusion in the collective a lot of you guys are empresses and emperors that watch me and, you know, they're coming up against the empresses and the emperors even harder right now because of the special connection that they share with each other, with each other, okay? Hmm. You may be the stronger one right now, and your twin flame may be leaning on you extra hard for support. Remember, you both are each other's support system, no matter what. Support, support each other. I feel like the twin flames are deeply supporting each other on the spiritual realm at this time. Something is playing out. Um, yeah, something is definitely playing out in the angelic realm and the ancestral realm. Literally, is calling you to be patient at this particular time. There's something in your chart um, that is very fortunate here. You may need to go see where you're part of fortune. Okay, your north node. You may currently be living in your north node. And hey, if you're not, it's okay to get on that right path. You know, ask God to show you what your calling is. What is your purpose? What is your mission? How can you get in your North Node? Because you know, once you reach once you reach the North Node, once you're living your purpose, your calling here on the earth, there are certain divine blessings that are released. They're already yours. They are released to you. Okay. Perhaps you need to go study up on your North Node, your birth chart, what your purpose is, your life calling here. I feel like you may be someone that 
you know, is deeply affected by the energies of the moon. You may be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces watching me, or you have these things in your chart. The different phases and cycles of the moon deeply affect you, okay? Yes, you may be a Leo watching this, or you have Leo in your chart. You may be a Taurus watching me, or you have Taurus in your chart. Yeah, you may have been quietly manifesting during this last full moon we had in Pisces, where you may need to study up on the different phases and cycles of the moon and how to manifest using these cycles. Particularly the full moon is the best time to manifest. Yes. Also, if you are a female, your menstrual cycle may have deeply been changed this year. It may have been some sort of switch up with your cycle. Your cycle may be in sync, or more in sync with the different phases and cycles of the moon. It may have came on literally during the full moon or a day before or a few days after the full moon. This all part of it. Some of you guys are connected to spirit babies. Some of you guys will have a child. I'm hearing a boy, a son with a significant other in the future. It's just here. The spirit baby is connected with both you guys. There's something about genealogy or something like that. So you may need to study up on your, your ancestral roots and your history, your bloodline. That's here. Yeah. <laughs> Scottish ancestors. You may have Scottish ancestors. Okay. Egyptian bloodline. Okay. Yes. Your roots run pretty deep. Yeah. The generational trauma run pretty deep as well. Also, the generational blessings run pretty deep in your family as well. Yeah, you're meant to, yeah, you're meant to leave generational wealth for your family, point blank period. Don't forget, the moon represents the zodiac sign of cancer, okay? But the moon also represents our psyche, our intuition, our spiritual gifts and abilities. It also represents trickery and deception, things that are hidden, illusions, okay? Pay attention to your intuition at this time because there's a lot of things going on that could possibly be clouding your judgment okay a lot of spiritual attacks the enemy is like really really seeking the chosen ones at this time to destroy the chosen ones but it cannot happen because god has us strategically placed and planted on his earth and we will live out our mission okay but that doesn't stop the enemy from trying there are a lot of hidden deceptive things taking place at this time. You're being called to proceed with caution. Go dig into your birth chart. Speak as little as possible about the placements in your chart. Specifically, your north node. You can speak about your north node, but stuff like your part of fortune, just try not to be so obvious about who knows that type of information. You are literally manifesting some things right now. And, you know, the angelic and the spiritual realms, ancestral, yeah, the ancestors, they're like, hey, just be as quiet about who knows. You know, everybody ain't going to be happy for you. You'll be surprised how many people will try to knock your dreams or to make you feel bad for wanting to achieve greatness in life, okay? Some people settle for meteorocracy, and they settle for not really achieving anything in life. And here you come with your, your beautiful big dream and having self and your big goals, and, you know, they may try to shut you down or try to you know, say something that could possibly negatively affect how you feel about something. So you're being called to be extremely cautious about who you tell your goals and dreams to at this time. Some of you guys are literally manifesting a child, a little boy. If you hear my little boy, Michael, in the background, he has a little cold. So you may hear Michael coughing. Most of you guys that watch my channel, you already know about Michael, okay? Michael is my little Scalpio. Some of you guys are literally manifesting a future king, a future emperor, someone that has great purpose at this particular time. Yes, the universe is saying to you today that your manifest your manifestations are close and please be patient at this particular time. Everything that is currently transpiring in your life, you know, is meant to teach is meant to teach you something, okay? You're going to get more of what you've asked for. Okay? Just trust the process. Yes, you may be someone that has the gift of touch. Okay, the gift of healing of the hands. You may have a soothing aura. Okay, people get around you and they feel protected. You may be someone that doesn't have to say much. And, you know, people that get around you just instantly feel safe and warm and protected. Okay, you are being divinely guided. There's definitely a spirit baby that is connecting with you. I'm definitely picking up on the energies of a mother that has crossed over. She's connecting with you as well. Don't forget to ask help. Okay, 
from the angels. They are there to assist you. You also have archangels. Okay, we also have ascended masters that are ready to assist us. If you don't know who what ascended masters are, please go research the ascended masters. Okay, they are powerful. They once walked the earth. You know, the ascended masters are perfect examples of humans being extraordinary. Okay, really fulfilling the missions that God has called for them to fulfill. A lot of a lot of you guys that are watching me. You may be ascended masters and not even know it, okay? Ascended masters are special beings that were once humans, okay? Go research the ascended masters. Jesus Christ, ascended master. Uh, Mother Teresa, ascended master. Buddha, ascended master. Okay, these are great people that assist humans to this day, and they are connecting with you as well. Saint Michael, he's with you. You know I love Saint Michael. He's my favorite archangel. I'm hearing something about an archbishop. Perhaps your father is an archbishop or you are connected to an arch archbishop of a Catholic church. Okay, perhaps that could be potentially someone you're going to meet pretty soon or encounter pretty soon. I'm hearing something about Saint Anthony. Now, I'm not sure um, who is Saint Anthony, but you may need to go research Saint Anthony. You may be someone that's Catholic, okay? Or there, there's, you know, there are certain practices of the Catholic faith and or religion that you practice and i think that's cool don't forget to ask your guardian angels for assistance and help because they are there with you and they are guiding you and protecting you pay attention to the signs and symbols that the universe is sending you at this time because your manifestation manifestations are coming in they are coming in you may live in california yes oh there's definitely a spirit baby that's in the ethers that's waiting to come in. You may be dreaming about this spirit baby at this time, or your twin flame may be, or, or a soulmate may be, okay? You may actually be having very vivid dreams at this particular time. Yes. Hey, there's something very uh, fortunate and favorable that's meant to happen for you. And the universe is saying, once again, be patient because it's going to happen at this at this particular time. The manifestations, uh, Your manifestation powers are very strong at this time beautiful souls okay just have a little patience yes definitely dig into your birth chart there's something you may not know about your chart okay there's some there are some things that you that you may not understand about your chart as well if you can pay a professional astrologer to dig into your chart do it okay if you can if you can actually pull up the information and understand it hey read it it's very knowledgeable okay i believe the first house the first house represents you know, our outer appearance, what people see when they first meet us. That represents our first house. Yes, now I'm no astrologer. I'm not no astrologer. And if I have any astrologers watching me, please chime in on the comment section and let me know. But I believe the first house represents our appearance, okay? Yes, I believe the fourth house, that represents the home life, the family life, the roots, your, your lineage, your ancestors, your origins. Okay, that's the fourth house. Ooh, the ninth house is that Sagittarius? Boy, my ninth my ninth house is, is in Sagittarius. Excuse me, guys. But yeah, I believe Neptune or something like that rules the ninth house. Just go dig into your chart because once again, I'm not an astrologer. But yeah, okay. Yeah, Scorpio rules the eighth house. The seventh house is Libra. The ho okay, the seventh house is Libra, the house of partnerships. So yeah. Especially if you're considering marrying someone, you definitely want to know what their seventh house is and your seventh house and how compatible you guys are. So if you have a little time today, go dig into your bird chart. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And make sure you communicate effectively about your goals. And make sure you be very, very particular about who you're communicating your goals with. Okay, I'm going to move into the tarot portion of this particular message. Once again, please take it how it resonates. I have a lot of guys that get in the comments and say, is this for guys? Yes, it's for guys. It's for girls. Okay, it's for anyone that resonates. Okay, so just take this thing how it resonates. I have the Empress. Woo, overall energies. The Empress coming out swinging. I have a powerful individual that's watching me right now. And you may be getting tried and tested through and through. Like they're trying to rip you a new one, it looks like, okay, Empress? But you're being called to stay strong. Don't come off your throne. 
okay it's okay to get angry it's okay to get mad it's okay to yell it's okay to shout it's okay to cry but make sure you take your place back on your throne because that's where you belong okay mm, we got the temperance okay so you may be a taurus you may be a virgo a libra or a sagittarius watching this particular message there's definitely the indications of you being an earth angel that you know a lot of people just mishandle and mistreat there's also the indications of guardian angels protecting you okay you may need to get more balance or get more get more balance in your life at this particular time particularly your emotions yes you are a very loving individual that has a true love you are one of the lucky ones one of the chosen special ones as a matter of fact and you have a special connection that's beautiful that's very, very beautiful. I'm picking up on Meryl Streep. She may be your favorite actress. Also, Sharon Stone, I believe. These may be um, your favorite actresses. Actresses. But yes, you're very fortunate individual to have a amazing true love partnership. You and this person may not currently be together. Okay, you may be in some sort of separation phase. But you know, separation is just an illusion. You're always connected to your soulmate or your twin flame. Okay, you guys are always connected spiritually. And there's a lot of tampering going on in the spiritual realms right now. There's a lot of energies that are mimicking you, mimicking your twin flame. It's just trying to cause discord in the energies at this particular time. You may be a Pisces. We have the fool. Yeah, your twin flame may be an artist or entertainer, or you may be. You may be a poet, a writer. Yeah, your, your twin flame may sing, okay? You may sing. You, 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 you may be surprised at the similarities that you share with your true love, okay? You balance each other out. Yeah, you may have, you, yeah. I'm hearing you may have a beautiful singing voice. Yes, we got the Seven of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energies. Hmm. We got the King of Wands. That's a Leo. Okay, Leo energy. It's like, you got some options, honey. You got some options. It's, it's not always, okay, well, you know, if I don't end up with him, well, who will I end up with? If I don't end up with her, who will I end up with? You have options, honey. You're an empress. You're always going to attract People are always magnetized and hypnotized by the empress and the emperor. There are people that are going to naturally gravitate towards you, period. You never have to worry about whether or not you're going to um, be attractive to other people or whether or not you're going to find another potential suitor because they're going to find you, okay? He that findeth a wife, he finds, he finds a good thing. That's what God says. A woman don't have to go search, okay? I firmly believe God says, he that findeth a wife findeth a good thing, okay? And you, hi, Michael. I'm in a minute, son. Okay. But, yes, you are attractive, empress, emperor, okay? And you attract things to you quite naturally. You also attract a lot of chaos, Okay. A lot of chaos and a lot of confusion. You may attract a lot of people that are damaged, okay? Very severely damaged and they're just attracted to your aura. Or they get obsessed with you, with you or your energy, okay? Trying to throw you off. It's really strange the type of people, the empresses and the emperors are trapped, okay? Yes, we got the three of cups. You may drink a lot. Your twin flame or your soulmate, they may have a drinking addiction. May like to party, smoke a lot. Okay, that's here. It looks like there's some sort of closure that has happened in the life in the life of your soulmate or your twin flame. They've closed out some sort of karmic cycle or situation or they've paid off some sort of karmic debt or they're in the process of paying off a karmic debt. Mm. Yeah. Your twin flame or your soulmate may have been a they may have been clouded by a lot of illusions due to a lot of substance abuse drinking drugs okay it's clouded this twin flames or your soulmate's judgment okay it's gotten this person into some situations that was not of their highest good perhaps they are in the process of getting the help they need for their substance abuse or their alcohol problem or perhaps that's something they're going to be 
needing before they can come into full union with you or perhaps you can help them in this particular area we got the five of swords you know they always say they gotta want to have it you, you gotta want the help okay you gotta want the help remember your twin flame has gotta want the help okay yes this is what i'm seeing or your soulmate your twin flame or your soulmate they have definitely walked away or they're they're freeing themselves from situations that um have been downright brutal okay brutal 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 we got the king of coins big daddy there's a lot of taurus energy here there's a lot of fire earth and water here yes of course aquarius energy is here and also gemini and libra yes we got all the elements here we got the nine the nine of wands mm. i see him like just yes when i say him remember this person could be a female i see this individual potentially driving past your homes walking past your neighborhood inquiring about you around town okay yes acquiring about you around town look we got the strength card and the chariot and the chariot it's like he wants to tell you all about the things that he's been through the twin flame the soulmate they want to really really have a deep conversation with you about some of the experiences they've had since you guys have been in separation yeah it's almost like <laughs> i see him i see this twin flame of this soulmate pulling up to your house after a night of partying or drinking or something like that needing somewhere to stay or crash for the night because they've gotten a little too inebriated that is here and that is here we got the page of coins the page of coins mm. he's looking at your photos the twin flame is just analyzing your face he's like a computer analysis like a robot the way he analyzes your face your voice your pictures all kind of ways this twin flame is literally studying studying you and analyzing you okay you don't see him but he's there we got the nine of cups cancer scorpio pisces with the nine of with the nine of cups i'm hearing cornucopia like there's an overflow coming in potentially for you and your twin flame okay i'm hearing more so you there's some sort of um, manifestation coming in that's going to be like an overflow for you, honey. Yep, it's coming in. We got the Wheel of Fortune back in me here. Yeah. Mm. This, this, this individual is deeply interested in talking to you. Talking to you. They may stutter when they speak to you or they may have a nervous way about them as they communicate with you. Especially when they come face to face with you after so long. Okay. It's been a while, huh? It's been a while. We got the Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like he's been, this twin flame or, or this particular soulmate has certainly been getting guidance that it's time to clean their act up, okay? It's time to get some help for their drug or substance abuse problem. It may have caused this person to get a DUI or it's caused this person to get themselves in some uncompromising situations or positions you know what i'm saying it's caused this person to get into situations that were not good for them and it looks like they have a spiritual team that is guiding them hey you need to get some help with this especially drinking and driving that's a big no-no that's a huge no-no we got the knight of wands the knight of wands he may have ended up this twin flame i keep saying he there's a male here that there's a there's a female that has a male twin flame divine masculine watching this message this man may have gotten himself drunk or high and ended up in somebody's bed and just a lot of drunken nights a lot of weird drunken situations that has definitely transpired with this twin flame okay they they're <laughs> They have a lusty libido and a high sex drive, and that may be activated by drinking or drugs, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He says that um, he knows he's broken your heart or he's let you down, and he wants to rectify the situation. There's a female that has a male divine masculine. This individual wants to rectify the situation with you, but they feel like they're a fuck-up, you know? That's just, that's just what I'm, I'm getting. Like, they feel like they're a fuck-up or they're inadequate. We got the hermit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He wants to impregnate you <laughs> for sure. He's watching you possibly or she through a fake profile. I'm hearing IG. 
Okay, you got an Instagram. He's watching you through a fake profile. Instagram, Twitter, possibly even Facebook. They may even be watching you on YouTube. You have a channel on YouTube. This individual is keeping a very close eye on you. They're they're spying on you. Okay, I'm hearing they're lurking on your page. Possibly reading the comments in your um, in your Facebook or your IG post. Yeah. Yes. He's very protective of you. This individual is very protective of you. They're very handsome. You're very beautiful. They're very gorgeous. You're very handsome. Okay, you guys are just beautiful people. When you step out together, you get attention. You get noticed. Okay, but this person has a jealous... They got a jealous, jealous streak or a jealousy to them. Okay, this could become a problem, problem for you. Okay, this is what I'm hearing. If they don't know how to control that shit... Okay, because you're just as beautiful as they are. You're just as handsome as they are, okay? Yeah. It's something that he wants to give you or gift you. It could be his dick, okay? He could want to fuck. <laughs> that could be what he wants to gift you with. Okay, we got the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. He wants to have a drink with you. Okay, you may you may not drink. We got the Hierophant. We got the Hierophant. There's a lot of Taurus energy here. Mm. It was no accident that you met. There was no accident that you met this individual, okay, or that particular individual. There's no accident that you guys met, okay? This is your soulmate. This is your true love, okay? It was meant to happen the way it happened. You may have met you may have met him in November. You may have met him or her in September. You may be a Virgo watching this or a Taurus, Libra. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius. You have these things in your chart. We got the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant. The Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant. That's like a soul contract or some sort of mission that you're meant to fulfill here on the earth. Point blank period. We got the Six of Wands. The Hierophant, the Six of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is certainly indicative of a special calling and or mission that you have here. You're meant to be recognized for the work that you do here on the earth. Okay. This also this also um, lets me know that you have a special um, high level connection. You have a high level connection with this person. It's no accident that you met. You met this person when you met him or when you met her. Okay. I think it would be well advisable if you guys prayed together. You may be 27. He may be in his 30s, 32, or she. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hearing this person has had a string of lovers. They've had they've had some lovers, okay? They've had some they've had some women. She's had some men's, okay? They've 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 done that, honey. We got the Knight of Cups. Then got yeah. I'm hearing the Divine Empress, okay? The Divine Empress is like, don't bring that dirty dick to me. I don't want no dirty fucking dick, okay? We can't blame the Divine Empresses for that. It's like he wants to make an offer to you. He wants to get you drunk. He wants to get you drunk. She wants you to drink with her. There's a lot of indications of alcohol here or drinking or offering something to you, okay? Possibly somebody, okay, possibly this is someone that wants to get you to let your guard down. So it'll be more easier to talk to you so you won't be so angry okay he may bring you something nice that'll definitely blow your mind and make you smile and be happy <laughs> okay don't let that distract you from finding out what's really going on with him okay mm. remember mercury is in retrograde at this time mercury is ruled virgo and gemini rules is ruled by mercury the planet of you know communications but mercury is also a trickster yeah if you're dealing with a gemini or a virgo you have to be extremely careful because these people are very very crafty i feel like this person has virgo in or gemini in their chart definitely aquarius in their chart Woo, we got the queen and the king of coins hmm mm. it's like he wants to teach you some new things they want to teach you some new things Particularly how to get money, how to get wealth, how to how to obtain wealth. But you're coming up as the empress. You probably already have established yourself financially. Or you're damn sure good on the financial front. Or you know how to get there financially, okay? But he wants to be some sort of aid or assistance. Or she. 
for you financially. And that's the damn truth. This person may only want to come back because you made it, okay? Mm, they do anything for cloud, okay? Damn, she famous now? Or look what she's doing now. Look what he's doing now. Oh, I gotta I gotta get back in there because now she's of the, the status or the esteem that I wanted her to be in when I met her, but she wasn't, so I had to back off. So you gotta watch their motive as to why they're coming back at this particular time. Or when they, yeah, some of them are gonna be coming back. I'm here in October. Some of them you may hear, you may have already heard from your person in the month of September. We got the Five of Cups. Hmm. We got the Five of Cups. Uh, there is somebody that's sad over this person today. Or he's, or this, your person is sad over someone today. It could be you. You're going on without him. You're going on without her. There's great fear that you're going to bury someone else. Or you're going to be with someone else. And it's just going to be too late for her. Or it's going to be too late for him. And I'm also hearing it's just too late to apologize. It's too late to apologize. Go listen to that song. But you were coming up as the Queen of Coins. Look at this. The Queen of Coins. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Hierophant. There's a spiritualist that's watching me. That's meant to be wealthy. Or they got some sort of wealth. Okay. Or they, they're meant to have some sort of wealth. At some point in their life here on earth. It's all in your chart. That's why I spoke about opening up this particular message. To go dig into your birth chart. Once again, that's Michael in the background. He has a little cough. Yes. But he's going to be okay. We got the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands. It's also very likely that he's, he's going back and forth with someone else in the background. And it's got him in his feelings. It's got her in her feelings. Okay. Hmm. They could be going through a breakup or a divorce. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah. Definitely got this person in their feelings. Okay. Take the reading how it resonates. It's like. It's like this person is getting hit. This person is getting hit from all angles. Yes, he's getting hit. And so are you. Okay. Yeah. All all okay, I'm hearing the gloves of the gloves are off. All bets are off. And you know. Excuse me, Michael. All bets are off. And you know, these these energies and these people are coming out swinging against the divine masculine and also the divine feminine. We got the King of Cups. He feels like, you know, you're not going to accept his apology or you don't want to fucking hear what he has to say. Okay? He feels like you're defensive and guarded. And you know what? No one could blame you if you are. You've had to carry the weight of a lot of things without this person's assistance. Assistance. There is his wand. Okay? <laughs> he watches you on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. IG possibly even in person and you know the dick is good the dick gets hard honey rock hard we got the four of wands he's ended out of connection with a queen of wands a Leo okay or a connection with a Leo and this particular person has come to a close or it's just not going well okay he gets super excited when he sees you or watches you especially secretly he gets some sort of thrill out of that okay we got the six of coins the six of coins it's like the universe is making sure you get what you deserve so if things are not going so well for you financially at this particular time they're going to get better you have to believe it because it's just facts god is not going to leave his people without you never have to beg okay he's always going to make sure that you have what you need trust that okay we got pisces energy with the hangman mm. Yeah, it's kind of like someone tried to keep him in a cage. You can't keep a person like this in a cage. Some birds are not meant to be caged. This person is not meant to be caged. Like, someone tried to stifle this person, okay? Literally tried to stifle him or to stifle her, which probably caused him to react negatively or to bottle up what they were really feeling or to just not really be who they really were with, this, with that person, okay? They were... They were trying to control your person, basically. Okay. Trying to control him. I feel like he was dealing with someone or she was dealing with someone that was trying to mind fuck him. Okay. Mind fuck them to get their way. This person, your person could have been under some sort of spell work. Okay. Black magic, sex magic, a bunch of fucking illusions. It's like just, especially if they're a drug addict or alcoholic, it was so easy for this person to fall into these devils hands okay 
just get them drunk just get them high you know it, it's just sad this person was definitely taken advantage of this is what i feel i feel like he did this your person is no innocent saint either he did some things that were not of his highest good as well he may have met this person and this person may have been his karma period we got the death card the death card Oh, the stagnation and the the separation phase for some of you guys will be coming to a close, okay? I love the energies that the universe is giving for you, okay? For you. The energies that the universe is giving for you is beautiful. You're coming up as a nine of coins, the queen of coins. Do you see this? Yes, a financially stable, wealthy individual that ain't looking for no man to financially support them you're just not you're not looking for a woman to take care of you financially you're able to do that on your own and you may not be where you want to be financially but you need to stay on the track that you're on because it's going to lead you to financial success just hang in there it's going to happen the burdens will be lifted okay yes the tables will turn the tides do turn you came here with a very specific purpose and or mission and it will be fulfilled your person got caught up with someone that was controlling and very demanding that demanded and required a lot out of your person okay it's, it's giving your person headaches anxiety sadness okay they may have got caught cheating they may have caught their partner cheating they both may have been cheaters in the connection okay there's there's definitely the indications of Bi um, I'm hearing bipolar, so your person may be bipolar, okay? Or they may have been in some sort of relationship or open relationship or connection. It was just not good for your person. This is what I'm seeing. And although it may be over, although it wasn't the best, healthiest relationship for your person, that doesn't mean that they, for your person, it doesn't mean that they don't feel sadness or regret or pain because of it, because they put a lot of their heart and soul into this connection or to that connection, okay? But it ended up, being like a fight for this person your person's life okay it, it became life or death it's either get out or die and that doesn't mean literally physically dying but you know every day that you stay with someone that don't love you and that's just using you and abusing you is like a death and you're you're killing yourself okay because you're not living up to your uh full potential or you're not you know when you stay with someone that you know in your heart and soul that don't love you it's like you're cheating yourself out of a, a better life better life okay your person may love to wear gold okay or you uh, yeah gold or silver jewelry possibly gold because i'm hearing the word gold yes your person is trying to make something happen michael it's like he's um he or she is certainly trying to make something happen like some sort of comeback to happen can you cut that water off please thank you yes he wants to talk to you she wants to talk to you you make them happy yes but it looks like they got some controversy on the ass that they may hide from you. So you need to be very transparent and open with them. Make sure you make them be open with you about what's really going on. Because they could secretly be hiding some drama. Okay. Yes. Damn. I'm also hearing what you may not know is that there's some sort of drama or some sort of situation that has come to a close for them. Okay. Yes. Take it how it resonates once again. We got the Knight of Coins. And the four of coins the knight of coins and the four of coins hmm at some point they love that toxic shit you know how they say some men love them toxic ass bitches okay some some females love them toxic ass niggas at some point they love that shit that's the only thing they knew it was kind of like they didn't have to have no accountability for anything okay when they were with these toxic ass motherfuckers there's no accountability you do what the fuck you want i do what the fuck i want okay there's something like that going on here. There was no accountability had. Yes. At some point, they loved that toxic ass shit. Well, that's all they knew. Okay, we got justice. Justice. It could be a bitter divorce going on or a nasty breakup. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this... This person could be fleeing from the law or running from the law or running for their life. Okay. Or trying to lie about some circumstances. Your person could be trying to lie about some shit that's going on in their life. Particularly financially. Yeah, the, the relationship that they were in could have ended because of infidelity. Point blank period. It just became too much. They may have even contracted something that was nasty. We got the high priestess. Hmm. <sighs> the 
high priestess and the eight of coins. It's like the like the universe, like the universe is saying, hey, watch this person. Make sure they're coming back for the right fucking reasons. You're Empress. You are Emperor. Okay. They do anything for clout. Perhaps your name, perhaps your name holds weight. And they would get this person some sort of social status. And they know that. So they come back for those type of reasons. Because you got some money coming in, honey. You got some financial things coming in for you. You got some blessings coming in for you. It's just facts. And this person knows it because they've been spiritually stalking the fuck out of you. Spying on you. But keeping themselves very guarded and closed off. You, you can't see them, but they can see you. Okay, this is part of the spiritual work that they have been doing. And by the way, they have to pay karma for the spiritual work that they have been doing. You don't have to do to spell work on your twin flame. It's just, it's just stupid to do that. It's a natural, organic, real connection, deeply spiritual. And you should never do spell, spell work on it. Okay. Yeah. Someone may have spilled something on this person's shirt, possibly some some drink or something, okay? He may have a quick temper, especially when he gets drunk or when he's drinking. We got the Three of Wands, the Ace of Cups. We got the Three of Wands and the Ace of Cups. It's like the universe is continuously saying throughout this particular message that this person needs to quit drinking or they need to get a, a control of their their drinking or their substance abuse okay because it's getting out of hand or it's gotten out of hand or it could potentially land this person in jail because i could see like a high speed chase or this person your person not stopping for the cops drunk high maybe not even realizing the cops are behind them or driving drunk or some shit like that okay it could it could end up being a very disastrous situation if they don't get control of this thing here this person, it's almost like their life is spiraling. Their addiction is spiraling out of control. They may be around some bad influences. They may have married or lived with or dated someone that was a very negative influence on them. It's causing this person to spiral out of control. Okay, you may be someone that doesn't drink or smoke or do anything. You may just channel all your energy into your sexuality or your looks or your work or your kids or your hobbies. This person is channeling all that shit into drinking or drugging or hanging with their friends or partying. They may even be, yeah, reckless driving. They may, it's a bad situation either way I look at it because if they let their friends drive and they're drunk and he's in the car she's in the car it could just be a nasty situation i see this the universe is saying hey this person needs to get control of their alcoholism or their drug problem before it lands them in some serious hot trouble we got the eight of coins you got some money coming in it's just too much energies of money coming in in your energy okay blessings that's why i said watch this person and why they coming back okay they may wait to try to come back when you make it okay when you make it when you rise all the way to the top they may try to come back they may have a specific date and time when in which this person is already set aside to come back remember they are spiritually watching you spying on you stalking on you stalking you they know every detail of your fucking life so this person may be strategically planning a certain time to come back when you're living in your five bedroom home or your mansion or you you're you know you're traveling the world helping the less fortunate there's going to be a certain specific time when they're going to try to come back okay this is why you got to check their ass check their motives okay ask your ancestors ask the angels to give you discernment when it comes to this person and why they're coming back why now why now why now okay if you didn't build with me, you didn't help me build this shit, why you want to come back when the legacy is solidified? Why you want to come back when I've already built my legacy and I'm sitting on my throne at the apex of my freaking, at the heights of my, you know, journey? Now you want to show back up. You have to watch people like that. You also have to watch family members like that, friends like that. They come out of the woodwork because, oh, you got a name now, or you're doing something major, or you're doing something awesome. Okay, check this motherfucker's motive as to why he's coming back, because there's a lot of money in your energies. There's a lot of indications of you being a powerful manifester. You may be a millionaire, okay? You may be someone of a high esteem watching me, okay? You may be someone that has worked their ass off to obtain every fucking thing you have, 
Okay, you remember, you remember a person that don't got nothing to lose will help you lose everything. You have to keep that in mind as well. Just, 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 just check they ask as to why they coming back because the energies are this person has some chaotic shit going on behind the scenes. Meanwhile, you got some blessings coming that are major. Okay, yes, it's like God has orchestrated some things or he's orchestrating some things behind the scenes that's going to be beneficial for you honey this could also indicate your your twin flame okay your spiritual counterpart as well okay you're meant to take a certain journey with him okay it may be that he's meant to come back at a certain stage not just because you've made it it may just be a certain stage in which god needs this person to come back to help you make it okay you always got to look at things you got to flip the coin and look at things from different angles and perspectives okay at, at some point he may come back in god may send him back in because He's going to be able to assist you or you're going to be able to assist him, especially if he has some sort of drug addiction or alcohol addiction. I feel like God may allow this person to come back in at a crucial time to save him. Remember, God let you guys meet at a critical time for him. OK, he thought he was dissing you. He thought he was dissing you. He thought he was rejecting you. She thought she was rejecting you. But at the same time, God let him be in your presence because you were meant to help him open his eyes and see how amazing he is and to see how many how how big of a calling he has so this person may have initially rejected you but remember god blessed him with you because he needed to see that you know he has a purpose in life this is why god may bring him back in at a critical time when he needs you the most again <laughs> again okay so keep your heart open that doesn't mean you have to run off and marry him or date her but it's always advisable to keep your heart open Okay. Yes, keep your heart open. He's a sneaky little something. Look at this. We got the tower and the seven of swords. Okay. He needs to watch that drinking and driving. And also, she needs to watch that deceptive shit. I feel like they got some deceptive people around them. Okay. They got some deceptive energies around them. You got some deceptive energies around you as well. Okay. Both of you guys have that in common at this particular time. It's like he wants to come back in and put that dick on you. Okay, she wants to come back in and put that good pussy on you to get you stuck all on them, and that could really fuck up your journey if they just leave you again. Okay, you know that could seriously fuck your journey up, and that could probably be the end of their life. Okay, <laughs> that could be the end of it all, or it could be the start of a great fall for this person or for that person if he does that. Yes, because the seven of swords, the tower, and the eight of the eight of swords. It's like I want to come in and do something real drastic, real fast, but very sneaky to get her stuck or to get him stuck or to get my way. He may try to get you pregnant, okay? Some sort of way to hold you or to keep you, okay? Yes, I see that energy here. Mm -hmm. You gotta check this. You gotta check people at the door. You, you gotta check their ass real quick because people will hurt you, and you already know that this person has hurt you. He's hurt you. She's hurt you. We got the emperor. There go your masculine. Okay. Closing out this particular message. Your masculine may be a Scorpio. They may be an Aries or they have these things in their chart. You know, Aries are dominant people. Scorpios are dominant. So your masculine is very dominant. Okay. He's very authoritative or he has a certain presence that um, gets noticed. Okay. He may be a little mean ass too. Okay. We got the nine of cups. He want to fuck you, the night of ones. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yes. It's not like, okay. <laughs> He's saying, I don't just want to fuck her. I, I want a life with her. Okay. I want stability with her. I want long term with him. I want longevity with them. This is what he's saying. This is what she's saying. This is what they're saying. He's like a ghost. He's like a hermit. Okay, this is the type of person that probably has people blocked. People got him blocked. This is the type of person that will leave your motherfucking ass. I'm telling you, he got Virgo. She got Virgo somewhere in their chart. They ghost people. They block people. They may go weeks and days without talking to people. Okay, this is what they do. They turn their back on people. Okay, yes. Mm-hmm. They lie to people. They could be two-faced to people. Very deceptive person okay i feel like 
there's something going down with this person. I keep saying this person. I don't know why I say that. There could be something certainly going down between your person and another person today that's got this motherfucker in their feelings, okay? Okay, something's going down with one of their lovers, honey. Possibly done got caught up with one of their sneaky links or some shit like that. Or he found out the wife cheated. Something going on with one of their lovers, honey, okay? He all in his feelings. Okay, your person all in their damn feelings. I feel like he's he is the one that's possibly more emotionally invested in a marriage or a relationship than the person that he married, period. He was the one that was more emotionally invested, possibly even financially invested. Yeah, he hated that it had to come to an end, but, you know, inevitably it was for his best, highest good. This is what I'm hearing, okay? We got the page of wands, the six. Expect to hear more communications about things coming in for you in the next few weeks. I'm seeing the month of November in my third eye, okay? The month of November, October. Expect to hear more things about your future and the things that are coming in for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like he wants to play role play with you, like the dominatrix. He wants you to dominate him, but he wants to be submissive. She wants to be dominant, but she wants to be submissive with you, okay? It's a lot of role play he wants to do with you, okay? If you got if you, if you you got a little extra money, go go get you a nice little costume. He would love that shit, okay? We got the world. Yeah, there's something significant about your body, your figure, your shape. He loved that shit. He could be infatuated with your breast. Your titties, your ass. Mm-hmm. Mm. He's definitely going to want you to use your hands on him. I'll say that. Okay. We got the Ten of Wands. <laughs> and the Five of Wands. He's been in a battle. He's been in a battle. This person, your person's been in a battle of their life. Okay. Okay. We got the Seven of Wands. It's like he's had to constantly defend himself against allegations of cheating, infidelity, being a dog, being a snake, being a fake, being a cheater. Okay, he's had to go through all that fucking shit. It's the people that he's associating with. It's the people that he's dating. It's the people that she's associating with and hanging around. Okay? There's a certain paranoia paranoia to this person, too. Oh, they only want me for my money. Oh, now he's, he may be waking up. It could be the drugs and the alcohol that's got him in this paranoid state of mind, thinking that they're all out to get him, or they all just want his money, or he's just waking up to the fact that that's what's really going on. And now he's out for blood, okay? I'm seeing the name Tiffany, hearing the name Tiffany. Now he's got that sword up. At one point, he may have... At one point, he may have been someone that was very giving okay now it doesn't seem like that's going down okay he may be given a bare minimum in a connection or a relationship or yeah or to his friends and family okay i'm gonna go ahead and close out this particular message please stay strong please listen to this person no matter what which way you go no matter what you choose just be be listening listening listen if he call you listen there's nothing hurt there's nothing wrong with listening if she reaches out to you you know listen to them because you may be someone that could save their life they may go into a total fucking downward spiral if you hang up in a minute you may be someone that could save their life they could go into a total spiral if you reject them and go to drinking and driving and driving reckless down the road and could potentially cause a wreck or accident so it's very advisable to please hear them out they see you as an angel he sees you as an angel an angel he didn't even know he needed okay he's using you as guidance whether you know it or not he's using you as guidance you know he's been toxic they know they've been toxic they know they've been stubborn refusing to get on board there's a stubbornness to this person this is like a late bloomer like maybe a little bit develop developmentally delayed on, on some level it's like something wasn't clicking <laughs> okay this may have been some <laughs> this may have been someone that was developmentally delayed or they just wanted to please everyone and they got lost in the mix somewhere but they are a hard worker okay you're dealing with someone or you have a connection with someone that's a very good hard worker and a very good manifester they're clawing their way out of the darkness this is what i'm seeing they've been shitted on by people they trusted the most but they've always kept an eye on you he's always kept an eye on you look he's coming to see his baby he's probably coming past your house tonight she's probably driving in your area tonight 
He's probably checking on you on some level physically tonight. You don't see him, but hey, he's riding by. Look, he could be walking by. Okay, he could be shape, a shapeshifter. Okay, they come in different forms. So watch out for this trickster you're dealing with. Yeah, he had a lot of things going. They had a lot of things going, but they've come into the realization that you are the best thing going. If you guys want to book me for a private reading, all the information will be in the description box below. Have a fantastic Saturday, Sunday, Monday. God bless.